So here we have a scapula. We're also going to tell with it whether it's a left or right scapula. We are going to start off with the acromion, which is more posterior. And this is the acromion right here. Um, it attaches to the clavicle, known as the AC, acromioclavicular joint. When you move down the uh, chromion, we have the spine of the scapula. This is, again is on the posterior side of the scapula. When you move anterior, we actually have the coracoid process, C. Okay? We have coronoid processes somewhere else. This is the coracoid process. Um, after that, we'll go back to posterior. We have the supraspinous fossa, where the supraspinatus muscle uh, is going to attach, have its origin. And then we have the infraspinous fossa, where the infraspinatus is going to have its origin. Um, we flip back onto the anterior side, we'll have the subscapular fossa. We have the glenoid cavity, which is basically going to be where the uh, humerus is going to attach. This is termed the glenohumeral joint, but all you need to know for this is glenoid cavity. Superior angle is going to be the angle that's the most superior. It's easier to find them on the posterior side. We're going to have the lateral angle, which is going to be from the glenoid cavity, just the bump right here. On the real scapula, it's very prominent. And the inferior angle is just going to be the lowest possible tip. That'll be the inferior angle. We also have a sub uh, suprascapular notch. Supra meaning top, scapular is just this notch right here, right next to the coracoid process.